Okay, uh, let's proceed. And next natin, the different cash flow models or basic patterns of cash flow. Okay, plus yung basic patterns of cash flow, meron tayong tatlo. Okay, number one, we have single amount. Yung single amount na yan, it may either be paid today or paid in the future. Okay, so, pwede babayaran mo today or babayaran mo in the future. Okay, and then next, we have annuity. Itong annuity, ito ay series of cash flows with uh, equal amount. Okay, equal amount. Okay, and then next, we have uh, mixed stream. So, ano naman yung mixed stream? Ito kasi parang pinag-combine na single amount and annuity. Bakit? Kasi para siyang annuity, kasi series of cash flow. However, hindi kasi equal yung amount. So, para siyang single amount, multiple amounts. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na mixed stream. Series of cash flows na uneven. Okay? So, yan yung ating uh, tatlong uh, basic patterns of cash flow. Next, uh, yan. review lang natin yung concept ng simple interest and compound interest kasi later on, uh, ang gagamitin natin dyan, more on compound interest. Okay, so ano ba yung simple interest? So, we have rate, principal, and then total amount. So, sinabing simple interest, let's say we have 100 pesos yung total amount. Mga pala, uh, dito sa discussion, pwede yung total amount na yan, pwede yan ay inflow or outflow. Okay, so pwede yan ay may pumasok na cash or investment outflow. Okay? So, we have uh, 5 years. So, 5% yung rate. For example, 5% times 100. So, that is 5%. So, the total amount is now 105. On the second year, so when we see simple interest kasi, dapat itong rate na 5% based on the original principal lang. Okay? So, 5% times 100 pa din. Okay? So, next, 110. Year 3, 5% times 100, 100, uh, 5% times 100 is 5, sorry, and then plus 110, 150. So every year, ayan, 5 pesos lang ng 5 pesos yung interest. That is simple interest. Okay? Ano naman yung compound interest? When you say compound interest, because eh, interest is earning interest. So for example, the total amount is 100. So year 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 5%. 5% times 100, so 5, that is now 105. However, on the second year, saan may be based on 5%? On the existing or outstanding amount. So 5% times 105, so meron tayong additional na 5 peso and 25. Okay? And then year 3, ito naman ulit yung gagamitin mo, 5% times 110.25. And so on. Okay? And then year 5, we have 127.63. Okay? So, Mapapansin nyo, syempre, mas malaki yung na-accumulate na amount under compound interest, 127.63, compared to simple interest. Kasi nga, the interest is earning interest. Okay? 